We're washing it over now, we're going to neutralise our panel. We're going to smooth it all out. This is the finish on your, on your panel now. So you're doing a wash over of the we're whole washing, panel? Yeah. Okay. But we're only going one way. And I'll tell you why we're only going one way, because all the shape is down there. We don't want to return the pass in this instance mm -hmm. because you're moving metal. We don't want to move mm -hmm. it back up here. Mm -hmm. We want to move it all down there. If we want anything higher, we want it down here, not mm -hmm. there. Yeah? So it's horses for courses, isn't it? If you know what that means there? I do, yeah. Good. I've, I've read all of Dick Francis's books. <laughs> Close track it now, take your time. This time get right down into your return. What do you think you're doing? About three eighths of an inch. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it as close as you can. Overlap your wheel blows. Take your time. Keep it consistent. That's the thing. And you'll get in, you get into a rhythm on it, and you know just exactly where you're going with it. Just have a quick check now and again. Look down your panel. Make sure you're going all right. You've got a little bit of an undulation there. We'll sort that. What would you do about the undulation? I'll come back on that. You're coming back to it? No, I will do it eventually. I'll okay. do this twice, you see. Okay. And that'll blend it out? That'll blend it in. If we were at Williams and Pritchard's 50 years ago, yeah, 60 years ago, you probably would have sacked me <laughs> for going too slow. I'm sorry, yeah. Would, would they really expect somebody to build this faster? No. You've you've got 40 minutes in this. No. 
No, I'm, I'm, I'm up to speed. Don't worry about that. Well, would you have gone this fast? Or, uh, no. No, those guys didn't have to work this hard. No, but you've got to remember, they were doing the same panel day in and day out. And when I was at Aston, you, you, you was either doing bonnets, doors, or wings, or roofs, and you'd be doing that for months. Mm -hmm. First one might take you two days. Mm -hmm. By the time you, at the end of the week, you'd be doing ten in a day. You know, that's okay. the difference because you knew exactly where to wheel it. These guys were doing, they built 250 of these cars. Mm -hmm. He'd have had one guy making these returns and he would have made a stack in a day because mm -hmm. they know the panel inside out. You know exactly right. where to wheel it. I see. You know, I'm pretty well up on it. Um, but you know. But you're, you're working faster than you would normally work. Oh, Christ, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't work this hard. Not for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, why are you going so fast today? Well, because we've got lots to achieve here. I'm going okay. To no, no, I, I, I appreciate do, yeah, that. I do work sort of this speed, James, don't I? Yeah. Manic, I think, is the word, isn't it? Yeah, it's close to manic, it anyway. how much money I owe. Okay. And would they have finished off their panels as nicely as you're doing on this? No. Or, no, because they're just going to slot car. paint over yeah, them. And, no, yeah. A lot of them weren't even painted. They were race cars. Yeah. You know, I spoke to Len Pritchard about it, and he said to me, get as much of it as you can through the wheel, over the welds. Right. And I said, that's fine, Len. I said, but it ends up at like a boar's prick. He said, it doesn't matter. It was a race car. Mm -hmm. If they wanted perfection, then you do it right. a different way. But these were purely race cars. So. And, but the way people are restoring them now yeah, is just absolutely. way overdone, yeah, right? Way yeah, way over They want them better than they was originally. Yeah, right. So they want we're finishing art. It, we're, we're finishing it to a Rolls Royce standard. Okay. Where before it was a, just a, a, a pure race race car, wasn't it? You know, so, you know, if you look at the old footage of the old vehicles, they're all ripply and horrible, you know, because that, basically that's all, it, all, it was, uh, all, all that was required. Uh-huh. But now it's a show car. It's part of your investment portfolio. You got it. Yeah. Beautiful. Not much wrong with that. Is yeah, it? yeah. We're trying the form. You got a little, see that little mark, little mark just there. See it just there. See that one? I do. A little ripple there. Well. And and so what are you going to do about uh, that? Well, I might run it over again, or I might just flip it. That's oh little, really? Yeah. I'll probably run it over again. Would you flip it on a forming head or or right on your buck? Right on. The See, that's what happened. I would, uh, no, I just got the forming head on a dolly. It's kicked up there now, I think. So we want a little bit of a twist in. We'll be careful now, we don't damage this. We want a little bit of hand manipulation and body manipulation, if anything. That's why you got that little bit of a kink there. Start to pull at a different angle. Need to just wheel this edge, got that back round. <clears throat> You've got right at 40 minutes in this whole panel right now. 40 minutes? Yeah. Well, you can do yours in 20 minutes then. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the going right, isn't it, James? Yeah. So if you were, yeah, it's 1959 and you're making a panel at Pritchard and Williams, realistically you're going to spend, what, an hour and a half on this? Yeah. You might do two in the morning and then go to lunch? Depends on your own piece work. I see. Is that how they paid those guys? Yeah. Really? Always?